another surprise from my banana box is this one piece violin bag. Hello from my workshop. Today I will leave this wonderful place and take you with me to go tonewood shopping. It's a perfect spring day today, perfect weather and now I'm going to um, take my friend Thibault with me because he has to make some videos but I think he's still sleeping so we have to wake him up and yeah maybe bring him some coffee to get him ready for the day. Ist das lecker oder ist das lecker? <lacht> Sieht gut aus. Hello, so before we start to the Tonewood dealer, um, Tonewood is one of the little pieces of the whole puzzle. It's important to know what kind of Tonewood you are using to know how you have to work with it. Um, if you are a beginner, I would not recommend to buy the best tone wood because you really need some time to learn yeah. how to how to work with it, how thin and what kind of arching and shape you have to give it to really have to sound that have it sound good and great. But once you improved, um, yeah, you can have a look on certain aspects such as density, weight. Um, also the speed of sound and things like that um, yeah and then after you know what kind of wood you've got you have to match the top and the back to each other so but this is just a very 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 tiny point if you are really great in all the steps so starting from the material and ending to a great varnish and playability and also the having the right measures and the right intuition you will get a really great great masterpiece a really great instrument Fucking final destination moment. like beer claw because you can see little waves in there but this is very very gently then I'm looking at the the grain um, the annual rings uh, I don't know what you want to say then I'm looking at the grain structure I'm looking if the year annual rings are cut straight and how it lays inside of the wood if it's like that or if it's a bit um, moving to one side crooked? I don't know crooked? crooked. Yes. crooked. if it's a bit crooked or if it's crooked at one side and not at the other side because then um, it's difficult to work with it
let's go. Ich mach dir auf, ja? Tschüss, Holzlager. Kommst du durch? Und wie war dein erstes Mal Tonholz kaufen? Sehr entspannt. Ich habe so mich wie gefühlt wie ein Kind. Wie ein Kind? Das, das äh, ja. Warum? Es hat sich so spielerisch angefühlt, das richtige Holz zu finden. Und I am back home and I had to check my current project. This will be uh, Bergonzi Viola, um, Nicola Bergonzi. I want to show you what I've got at the wood. I've got new wood for the linings. This is quite two big pieces, so I can cut a lot of linings from it. If you wonder what linings are, um, it's hidden inside the violin. So this is also the Bergonzi Viola um, rib structure. And the linings are those little parts which are inside of um, the ribs which are the yeah. blocks of the instrument i've got some new wood for the blocks um, usually i use willow or spruce and this time i bought some willow one of my favorite pieces if not the favorite piece is a very 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 beautiful but expensive um, piece for a big 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 viola so i can decide if i want to make a really big viola or just a big viola but i think it's really 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 pretty then i've got some nice um, best quality um, tops It will have great stability and also the rate, weight is good and the, the sound because I can hear the ringing sound and when I touch the wood like that I can also hear um, the speed of sound. So I've got one, another one, this is quite similar and it has this wonderful shine. So this time I just got very expensive and yeah. The best tone wood I could find. This is from 1993. I think I will use this old piece for my Galliano violin copy, but I could also make a viola from it because it's quite big. <sighs> Usually I'm a big fan of one piece bags because I think they are always a highlight, but I found this um, two piece bag because the structure is quite uneven, a bit wavy and it also has little bird eyes on it and it's really beautiful. Don't judge a book by its cover. In the section for super old wood I found this. From the first impression you won't think that this is something super special but a friend of mine he plays a Galliano violin and this violin has a really special back wood um, with bird eyes but also with slightly yeah with a bit of flames and it's a two-piece back what have I found it's flames but also has those beautiful um, bird eyes due to the age and due to the um, structure and due to the emerald rings and the weight and the sound that it has I think this would be a great great violin if you are a beginner you, you, of course you can also buy the best tone wood but this will not make a good violin this is just a very very little little part of the whole of the whole process um, you really have to know how to work with the wood, which wood is good for which arching and which 
what do you combine with each other? What kind of top and what kind of back make a good fit? And then how thick are you going to make it? And there are so many factors because many people think that, ah, yes, a violin is good and then the violin will sound well. No, that's not the case. Also, lower rated woods can make a great violin. Um, you just have to know how to work with it. So in the last pieces that I've got are some more top plates. Um, one top from 2013. Can't wait to make some more instruments. 